Hi, this is Charles Haley, five-time Super Bowl champ. And my name is Lori Lynch, Senior Vice President, Customer Success for my station. And we want to welcome you to our reading series called iStation Reads in partnership with Tackle Tomorrow. Charles and I are excited to introduce this amazing reading series where you're going to hear from a lot of personalities reading iStation books. We'll ask you some questions at the beginning of each story and by the end we'll follow up to see if you've got the right answers. So join us for each episode. You'll see us on iStation's YouTube channel. If you love it, share us on social media. We look forward to working with you, and as Charles always says, It doesn't matter where you start, it's where you finish. You're so right, Charles. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Hi, Lori from iStation here. Today we're going to be hearing a fantastic story by the amazing Russell Maryland. Let's learn a little bit about Russell, shall we? Russell Maryland's a former NCAA and NFL great, number one pick in the 1991 NFL Draft. He's won two national championships, three Super Bowl rings, and he played for the Dallas Cowboys, Oakland Raiders, and the Green Bay Packers. Once you hear the story today, you'll notice that Russell has a very important message. He shared with us that if there's anything that you learn from the story today, is what? Just be nice. Not for money or favors or anything, just be nice. It will take you a long way. So as we begin listening to Russell Reed, we've got three questions we want you to think about. Number one, in the beginning of the story, is it true or false that the king ate dinner alone? Number two, what kind of voice does the crow tell the king to use? Hmm, let's think about that. And number three, what meal did the boy and girl ask the king to join? I want you to listen closely. We're going to meet you at the end of the story to check for understanding. Hey, everybody. This is the one and only Russell Maryland, formerly of the Dallas Cowboys, number one pick in the 1991 draft, winner of three Super Bowls with the Cowboys. I also played with the Oakland Raiders and the Green Bay Packers. But I also played back in college with the University of Miami Hurricanes where I won two national championships, three Super Bowl rings. Man, I'm a lucky guy. Now, when I was growing up, when I was really young, I really never really liked to read. I mean, it seems like all the words would get jumbled up and it seemed like my brain would just get too twisted. But uh, one thing I always loved was for somebody to read the book to me. And that's what I'm going to do for you today. Gold Hollow is a place that shines with gold. In the center of Gold Hollow is a throne. On that throne sits a king. From sunrise to sunset, the king yells at the folks. He tells them what to do. The folks have no choice but to follow the king's order. You must cut the grass, fold my pants, shine my gold until it glows, yells the king. Then, at the end of the day, the king yells, who will have dinner with me? The folks run home fast. They do not like me, the king moans. What must I do? Each day, the king eats dinner by himself. He does not enjoy it. A wise old crow sees the king. He feels bad for him and the folks. I must help, he thinks. The crow goes to the king. He tells him, you must speak with a nice voice. Use your manners. Say please and thank you. I will do what you ask, moans the king. The next day, the king does not yell. He speaks to the folks with a nice voice. The king tells them, thank you. The folks are shocked. At the end of the day, they clap for the king. The kids jump for joy. A boy and a girl go up to the king. Will you join us for dinner? They ask. The king smiles. He does not have to eat by himself. 
The next day, the king tells the crow, you're a wise fellow. I will not forget you. The king gives the crow five gold coins. No, thank you, the crow tells the king. I cannot take the coins. I just like to be nice. And if there's anything that you learn from the story, is what? Just be nice. Not for money or for favors or anything. Just be nice. And it'll take you a long way. Thank you, guys. Okay, review time. Let's go back over those questions one more time before we go to the answers. So while Russell was reading The Wise Crow, what were you thinking? Number one, in the beginning of the story, is it true or false that the king ate dinner alone? Hmm. Number two, what kind of voice does the crow tell the king to use? And number three, what meal did the boy and girl ask the king to join? If you need more time, press that pause key. Once you're ready, press the pause key again to continue, and we'll show the answers in the next section. So what'd you think? Pretty cool story. Number one, let's go over these. In the beginning of the story, is it true or false that the king ate dinner alone? Hmm. If you said true, you're correct. Number two, what kind of voice does the crow tell the king to use? If you said a nice voice, you're correct. And number three, what meal did the boy and girl ask the king to join? They asked him to join for dinner. So if you said dinner, you are correct. Thanks for joining us today. We hope to see you on another episode really soon. Take care. Lori here again. Thanks again for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the story. Remember, tune into our iStation YouTube channel to check out iStation Reads. If you love us, share us on social media. Hope to see you again real soon.